Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we would be studying about Python lists. So first coming to the topic, what is a list? So a list is a sequence data type in Python. Now, what do we mean by sequence data type? Sequence means it will contain one or more than one element. It can also contain zero elements or one element or more than one element. Okay, now this sequence data type is an ordered collection of elements. So the order of elements is important in this sequence data type list. And what do I mean by order is important? It means that every element is assigned an index and if there are two lists that have the same elements but the order of those elements are different then they will be two independent different lists okay so if we have a list a comma b and another list b comma a then these are two different lists because in each of the list the elements although the elements are same but each of them are occurring at a different position okay so a python list is an ordered sequence data type and this list is mutable that means once you have defined the list you can change the elements of the list and uh, you can easily uh, create the new list that you want you can change the existing elements now another important point is that a list can have any kind of elements inside it that means it is not necessary that the elements in the list will be belonging to the same data type you can have a character an integer a floating point or even another list inside a list as its element okay so generally lists are used whenever we want to store different types of uh, elements inside as a single collection okay now what is the syntax of a python list so to declare or to define a python list you need to uh, write down two square brackets and inside those brackets you need to specify the elements and those elements if there are more than one elements they will be separated by a comma so uh, what are some examples of a python list see uh, the first list that i have defined here is list one this is the name of the list and uh, there are square brackets inside the square brackets there are four elements each of the integer data type and the elements are one two three and four okay then there is another list that has three elements each of the character type or a string with a single character in them and the elements are character a b and c now the third list the name is list 3 and it is defined again by defined by writing down square brackets and inside the square brackets there are five elements the first element is 1 second is a then the third element is 2.5 then the fourth element is capital A and the last fifth element is a list which itself consists of three elements. Okay, so each of these statements are the definition of a list or this is how you define a list in Python. Okay, now once you have defined the list, you need to know how to access the elements of a list. So it is very simple. Once you have studied accessing different characters present in a string, as we have dis discussed in the previous videos, you will have no difficulty in accessing the elements of a Python list. So the concept remains the same. Each element is assigned an index value and the index starts from zero. When you proceed from left, to right okay so this first element will have the index 0 the second element will have the index 1 2 3 and the last element in this list will have the index 4 okay so now if you want to access the first element of the list you will say you will specify the name of the list then square brackets and then inside the square bracket you will write down the index uh, at which uh, the index value whose element you want to retrieve so i want to see the first element which is present at index 0 so list 1 of 0 gives me the first element which is 1 similarly uh, list 1 1 that means the element present at index 1 will give me the second element index uh, the value 2 okay now, if you specify a value as an index, which is 
greater than the length of the list then you will get an error that the list index is out of bound because in this case the list has five elements and the index values range from 0 to 4 so the maximum index value positive index value that you can give here is 4 okay so this uh, particular uh, instance this particular case will give you an error okay now coming to negative indices, just like strings, you can also use negative index values for a list and here again the rule, same rules apply. The last element of the list will have the negative index of minus 1, the second last index will have an index value of minus 2 and so on. Okay, So list 1 minus 2 will give you the character b because this is the character that is present at the second last position now when we say list 1 2 plus 3 so it means that uh, lists also allow you to write down an expression that uh, evaluates to a integer value that can be used an, as an index so here also this syntax is also right you can specify an expression in place of uh, index value which evaluates to a integer okay and uh, uh, the result here is the third index value so uh, index 0 is 1 index 2 is uh, sorry index 1 is 2 index 2 is a and index 3 is the character b similar okay so both of them will return the same result and now one very important function that you will be using when you use lists is the length of the list so this is the syntax of using the built-in function i would be discussing the built-in functions for lists in detail but as of now you can remember that you can use the length function len and then specify the name of the list in the round brackets whose length you want to find out so here since there are five elements so the value would be five okay now coming to the last uh, point that must be remembered as i said that python lists are mutable in nature so what does that mean it means that you can change the elements of the list once you have defined the list okay so if you have a list whose name is list one and it contains three values three elements namely red orange and blue so each of the elements are strings in itself now you want to change the second element uh, and you uh, want to change its value to the string yellow so what do you do you uh, write down the name of the list you specify the index position whose value you need to change since it is the second element so it will be index one okay and you specify the value the new value that you want to replace with so after writing the statement when you print the list you will get the new elements present in the list okay so that is why we say that lists are mutable it is the same list as before but after making the change that you specified okay so that's all for today in the next video we would be studying about various operations that can be performed using python lists so till we meet in the next video mind your exam keep studying